Hey, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what you can expect from the next 24 to 48 to even 72 hours. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so if you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So you guys showing up here as a 10 of wands, so this is a bit of a heavy energy. You might be saying too much, you might be doing too much, okay? This is, there's a heavy load that you're carrying here. So for some of you, maybe it's time to share this load or to share this burden with someone else, okay? Um, just, you know, help yourself, basically. Help yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help, especially if you're in a situation or you're in a position where you need help. Um, don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to, you know, offload to someone, okay? And, um, you know, because it's going to help lessen the load. It's going to help make things easier for you, okay? You don't have to keep this to yourself. You don't have to do it all on your own. There are people around you who can absolutely, you know, who can vouch for you and will ab absolutely step in and give you that helping hand. But you just need to ask. Sometimes you can be a little bit proud. So, you know, Ten of Wands, something here is getting a little bit much. And it could be a secret that you've been harboring. It could be a secret you've been keeping to yourself. It could be something that you've been doing on your own, but it's just gotten to a point where it's a little exhausting and you need some help. So don't be afraid to ask for help. It is there and it's going to make things so much easier for you, for others as well. Just be very careful if you're doing any like um, heavy lifting or if you're in a job where, you know, you need to um, do like a lot of hard labor. Just be careful. Watch the way you lift things. Um, don't overdo it. Don't push yourself not worth it okay um i'm also saying that you're you're there's something here that's coming to an end in the next two to three days could be a project some of you could be working on a project and finally finishing it and goodness it's gonna feel like a relief because it's like it's and maybe this is where the heavy energy is coming from because you've been working on this thing or you know this project for quite some time and you finally finish it and it's like you know it's such a relief um, for others, I think there's something here that it could be a contract that's expiring. Something here is coming to um, to an end here. Uh, for some of you, I feel like, I don't know if it's you or I don't know if it's a connecting energy, but it could be someone here I feel like is holding back and someone here is afraid to speak up or is afraid to, you know, um, speak what's on their mind or tell or speak the truth purely because this person's scared of being judged, okay? Maybe it's someone who's close to you and, you know, like for example there could be a secret admirer but they are scared of rejection okay they may have some very strong and intense feelings for you but they could potentially be staying away from you because um you know they're scared that you might not feel the same or they're, they're scared that you might you know judge them or judge the situation very differently it's that kind of energy but it could be you you potentially could be staying away from someone and like purposely avoiding contact communication with this person even though you want to just because you're scared of how you might seem or how the situation might seem i don't know why but there's this fear of judgment and i don't know if this person feels judged by you before or if i if i don't know if you've judged or if, like for example they've judged you and that's why you're staying away but there's something i feel like there's someone here that is trying to connect with you or is trying to um you know is wanting to say something but they're so scared and they're holding back okay um you know there, there's like there's different ways you know you could still there's different ways of saying something but i think it's all in the deliverance right um someone here is if it's not you then it's someone something closely connected to you i think is doing a little bit of spying a little bit of cyber stalking so someone here could be watching your stories very closely they could really be watching the um you know anything that you post on your social media um this person i feel like is really it's like they've got their eyes on you they've got their eyeballs on you and everything that you do it could be someone who is you know is just scared to approach you like we spoke about they're scared to reach out they're scared of rejection could be someone who you know doesn't have a whole lot going on in their life and um they just feel like watching your stories i i don't know why this person is but it's like they're watching but they're not doing a lot this is what it feels like it feels like look it could be an ex okay it could be an ex that is you know simply following your stories and simply following your posts and even though they're not saying much this person like they're kind of holding back and i think they're not saying much um because if it is an ex then this person i think it's their way of 
trying to still stay connected to you, if that makes sense. So even though you guys aren't talking or, you know, there's no reconciliation in the cards or anything, but this person feels like, you know, they still feel connected to you or they still want to feel connected to you. You're going to have um, some decisions or some choices to make in the next um, couple of days. And I think it's important for you to know that not every choice or every decision or every opportunity that is going to show up for you is a good one, okay? Because much like the Seven of Cups, you know, some chalices, whilst they bear desirable gifts, others not so much. There's shadows and monsters and whatnot and creatures there, right? So just because something he might look good at first, but if you dig deep, it's not all that amazing, okay? It's not all it's, it's all cracked up to be, cracked out to be. So for example, you know, it could be someone that you might match on a dating app or you might, you know, it could be someone you might meet and, you know, first impressions this person might be great and might be wonderful but as you get to know them you know they're just they're mean or they're not you know who you thought they were so you know just be careful because don't take everything at face value and just don't don't write off any opportunity as well don't assume like you know there's nothing like for example don't assume that you know one opportunity is not going to get you anywhere when you just don't know what doors it might open for you Whereas another, you know, it might be wrapped up in shiny new packaging, but underneath it, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing of worth to you. So, you know, they call it the shiny object syndrome and it's, you know, look past the glistening allure of illusion is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so if you meet with someone, especially if you recently met with someone, they may be glistening with a promise of false illusions. Look past that, okay? Um, there's some sort of romantic message that is coming in for you guys. Not for all, but for some. I feel like there's some sort of romantic message. It comes in very unexpectedly and it comes in out of the blue. So it could be that, you know, maybe for those of you that have recently met someone or matched with someone, I feel like this is going to, um, it's going to move quite quickly. And I think this is someone that is worth pursuing and this is someone who's very romantic there's a lot of romantic seduction in the energies here and someone who i feel like is wanting to sweep you off your feet and is wanting to impress you um very charming as well but then again for some of you you know going back to the seven of cups energy they may come across this way and they may that may not be the case at all so you need to use your judgment you need to use your discretion um, but yes i've got this strong indication in the cards for you where there's this you know wonderful romantic energy that's coming in for you okay it could be someone new could be someone existing someone he is um you know it could be a secret admirer that finally opens up and tells you how they feel it could be someone who is you know coming in with a love offer that you don't want to refuse it could be someone that wants to take you out wants to show you a good time wants to get to know you wants to build a connection with you um and there's also this for some of you you might potentially you know this connection might be worth pursuing, but it will be short-lived, okay? And that, that's just, even though you'll have yourself a good time, they might take you out on a date or several, but it may, you know, and it might be worth pursuing for, for that matter, but it's going to be very short-lived. And it's very likely that this person that comes in for you or this person that you meet, um, although, again, they're worth meeting, they're worth connecting with, and you'll have a, you know, a really good time with this person, but I feel like it's short-lived because for a lot of you, Although, you know, you might be really attracted to this person, you might connect with this person on, um, you know, on so many levels, you might find that there's something lacking there, whether it's chemistry or whether it's, um, you know, some sort of emotional fulfillment, whether it's just not for some reason you guys aren't just gelling, you'll find that there's something quite, you know, something's missing. There's also, for some of you, there may be a need for you to walk away from someone or something. Okay, and I think it's something that um, you've given a lot of your time and your energy to. So it could be a certain person that, you know, is toxic and is no good for you, but you keep them around. You keep them around. I don't know why, but you keep them around. Could be a job. Okay, you're no longer happy. It's not fulfilling. It's not rewarding. Something he, you need to walk away from it. And you've given it a lot of your time and you've given it a lot of your energy. But I think it's gotten to the point where you're like, you're done, you're bored with it, it, you know that you're not getting anything out of it, and you know that, you know, you're ready to walk away, 
It's just a matter of doing it. Alright guys, and these are the messages. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel. Um, please do hit that uh, subscribe button. It does help. And um, also by liking, sharing or commenting. Thank you guys again. Bye.